But 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 let's now. You worked at Spotify, so let's really. I mean, like, so we say that, but c- could you give a couple of examples? I mean, like, because you were we are already on it already. That already when you worked at Spotify, it was clearly a factory and industrialized approach. But could we give some c- simple examples or way to make that more tangible? Um, maybe it's like how you say they have structured process. I mean, like in, indirectly we can hear it. They have testing. They have everything, right? But th- what we are saying something is true, right? Uh, they have so much depth of this competence of what they're doing. But is there any way to make that exemplified or tangible so it becomes more concrete for the people who's not in the know? It, maybe it's from some of the examples that you had from Spotify. Uh, I'm not sure. Le- let me give you. One example from from Google uh, instead. A Google, I meant. I'm, I yeah, was, right. We talked uh, about Google. Sorry, I. So uh, Google has a vast amount of of code, right? But they they also have lots of products. So so it's it's no surprise. But if you look at these diagrams of how much code uh, different organizations have, you know, Google, Facebook, uh, Audi, uh, Linux kernel, and so forth. And like Google is is way beyond everybody else. Um, there. If you look at how much of that code is touched each month and changed each month, what do you think the answer would be? I I actually think they're grooming it all the time, if I understand you right. 50%. This this number is a few years old, but nevertheless, it's the same, right? And the you know, if we look back at, at Spotify and what what would it take Spotify to be able to touch all of the half of the code we had in one month? We were nowhere near that, right? We we, we so didn't Spotify have a machine. It's like the, sh- the superstar in Sweden, exactly. but nowhere near. Exactly. Um and that's a good example. Yeah. And you could see when I work at Google, you could see these these changes. Here's a change. It touches five thousand lines of code. And it was like what? Or, or sorry, five thousand different files. And how could any human possibly do that? No, it was you know these bots that went around and changed the code. And and if you rolled out changes like you know these these routines now should take a new parameter with a, with an authentication token or something like that was rolled out within within days. Yeah. So, so what automated you're refactoring. So you, you're somewhere. you're saying there is a lot of stuff as part of CI, CD, or however you want to call it, that is automated, that is happening, that really has this, this sort of factory, I changed this, and then it's no humans going around and changing those, you know, 50% of the code, yes. it's bots doing it. And we are very only very recently seeing this in, in, the, in the wild, right? There, there are these bots, for example, that go and submit PRs to GitHub with security uh, changes and so forth. Uh, this is like 15 years later, right? Uh, so. So I don't see any company or organization in Europe being able to catch up with that. That that's not realistic. So I think your your view of a bottom up approach is more reasonable. And and if uh, some it needs to be open. Other, uh, otherwise it, it's mean. Otherwise we can't do it bottom up because that we need to have it's it. really open source stuff. Yeah, and, and I started thinking along those lines when, when you sent out some some preparatory mm. question the other day, and I was like, yeah, maybe something open source standards it sounds like a lot like OpenStack, mm-hmm. right? but that has the wrong smell, it, and it, it never took off for, for 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 good reasons. What is OpenStack? Oh, it's it's a uh, open source. Um, uh, like pile of different projects that are similar to the base uh, cloud things like uh, virtual machines and object stores mm-hmm. and uh, and so forth with a standardized interface. But it has this uh, man, many jumped on it, but it has this enterprise smell that but, is, isn't right. But maybe this is not a strategy. That, like you can't uh, maybe compete on this generalist view. So maybe maybe you need to be more niched. Maybe you need to figure this out. European style is different; that it, you don't try to compete head to head, but you do a you know niche strategy. So transportation, energy, and you get the de facto standard cloud setup energy with the de facto standards on on even protocols and, and I don't know. I'm just, I'm just maybe maybe and and uh, maybe we can take inspired inspiration from how the internet succeeded, mm. right? Which which is a very federated, decentralized thing. Uh, and maybe there's something si- similar, but but you know, running clouds is is all about 
it's very operationally heavy uh, and that's the operations is like the real value of it somebody else I mean, if difficult. we try to summarize that i think we can all agree that it is a big difference between the tech giants of the world and the rest of the companies in the world right yes. and yes. i don't think many people understand how big the, how big that difference is no, right no. The, it, it is huge yeah. i think i think the There, if you look at any company and you ask them to do a spider diagram of their mm. of their capabilities, you know, and and you say IT here and logistics there, and mm. take different dimensions, they would all give themselves, you know, oh, we have a five on and four or six mm. on a, on a ten grade scale, and they will think that they are like quite good at everything. Mm. Uh, whereas I, at least in IT, the reality is not all, at all like that. There are mm. the 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 companies that are best at something. They they are decades ahead of everyone else so everyone else all company even them mm. all companies have are, are like you know at one level one except for in something that they're really good yeah and, and to not become too um, uh, depressed <laughs> about the current <laughs> situation i mean we know they have the tech giants and they are you know very far ahead but if you instead compare countries with each other and, and think like the average kind of American company or average Chinese company to the average Swedish or European country. What do you think the situation is there? I think that we have some unique strengths that yeah. are different. Yeah. I, I think if we you know go back to the spider diagram, we are good, really good at some things. Yeah that the American companies are not so good at uh, because of culture or, or different things. And that was a really realization going from Google and then coming from Spotify because the Spotify is not so great at the things that are Google are, are mm. super, super good at. But the, the weak points in Google, Spotify is, is, mm. is top top. Can you give world. an example of that? Uh, uh, give, getting the most value out of a team of people. Mm. That is... Uh, Uh, that is something that Spotify really excels at. Mm. And uh, Google's approach to it was to, of course, scientific. They eventually ran these different measurements of how people work together and so forth. And it was called Project Aristotle Lesson, something yeah, else. And, I, I read uh, that paper. And, and took a scientific approach and, and said, what, what is most important? Is it the the, you know, the people recruit? No. Nope. Is it the, the different programming languages? No. Nope. Mm. Skills? No, nope. no, nope. no. Nope. Uh, it turned out to be psychological safety in a team, right? Mm. Being Allowing people to be vulnerable. And what they described is, well, this is Spotify's company culture. Right. This and this is very natural for for Scandinavian companies, mm. uh, and it took them like a decade to figure that out. With, with mm. yeah, we have some kind of culture in in Scandinavia that is perhaps very valuable. And well. th there's a lot of trust, and the, there's there's like team before individuals, mm. uh, and uh, being part of a of a greater whole. So, and if you look back, even if you look back, uh, um, Scandinavian companies have been good at building like systems and things that connect together. I think that's the cu that culture is part of Ericsson's success. I'm I'm convinced. Right? It's a big global world system. Yes, that fits the sort of Swedish culture. Whereas detailed innovation fits the mm. American culture much. Better. I want to come back to the earth when it comes to cloud. <laughs> uh, so I want to ask a very simple question. Uh, could you elaborate a little bit about when, what was the strategy and what was the process when Spotify went to the cloud? What, what was the, the, the learnings? What was the pitfalls? What would you have done differently? So tell us a little bit about your experiences from moving Spotify to cloud and what y your role was. There are some excellent uh, YouTube videos by uh, Ramon van Alteren and Josh Baer on this topic. They, they, they were much more involved. Uh, so I mostly saw it from the side because this journey started after I left as an employee, but I saw it as a, when I okay, came back as a consultant. Um, so it, it was a very much uh, iterative approach. Uh, the, the, uh, You cannot do these things big bang. So, so the um, the for for the data part, it, it's fairly easy, or relatively easy, because you're all offline, right? So, if you go down a little while, nobody gets immediately affected. If you think of things like login services and playlist services, they cannot be offline. Like that, it, it has happened, but that's a that's significant outage, right? 
so then they had to be much more careful and setting up parallel databases and 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 those were uh, almost exclusively forklifted so they would set up a cassandra cluster in, in the cloud to host just a, you know a few employees in the beginning and they since spotify has always been multi or s- since way back been multi data center so then you, then taking the step to be a data center in the cloud is in a way fairly straightforward because it's just yet another cassandra cluster but you have to uh, there are a number of assumptions uh, that you have to validate with in terms of, of uh, quantitative assumptions and, and uh, you know performance and, and network bandwidth and latency and so mm-hmm. forth and uh, that are no longer valid if, if you don't control the machines all the way down. So uh, my understanding is that was quite quite a bit of work in those areas. But the the whole process was uh, decentralized. So all of the teams had. Uh, were expected to at at the a suitable time figure uh, their fi- own journey figure out their own journey and um spotify has an interesting uh way of prioritizing and and uh, uh, managing these sort of strategic uh efforts uh this the, the sort of the the sequel to the spotify model it's something called dib I don't know if they still use it, but they used it at the time. And uh, that was a way to drive uh, strategic priorities by... Uh, this, the central point of this is, is a, uh, a fully uh, transparent, prioritized list of all the, pri- all the company priorities. So, so we, in the past, there have been things like, you know, become GDPR uh, compliant and uh, launching in Japan and, and things like this. And... and those things have all have a specific priority and only one is the top priority and uh, at the bottom level you say uh, you might be working on something with it with you know priority two or something and then you need help from another team and you go to them and, and say hey i need you for this uh we're busy they say and uh, what are you working on priority seven they say okay put that aside we're, we have priority two here and that works very beautifully in in a way to to like move strategic things forward in a, in a fully decentralized and, and low friction Very interesting. manner. So, so moving to, to GCP was one of the things that popped you know, up and down on this priority list. And, and that's how they control the, the speed of that move. 